committee and just Friday we announced that uh, Secretary of State Alex Padilla has endorsed me as well. In what race? In the city attorney's race. My name is Rafael Castellanos and I'm running for city attorney. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm a member of the Board of Board Commissioners. Thank you. I'm not a very good candidate. But anyway, that's just a little status update on the race. Um, I think that those endorsements really reflect um, why I'm running, which is, you know, it's been almost 20 years since we've had a city attorney that has subject matter expertise, land use experience, real estate development experience, project finance experience, environmental review experience, personnel law experience. These are the, you know, the bread and butter of the city, of any local government, of any municipality. When you hear about charter stadiums and convention center expansions, infrastructure deficits, this is all about land use and real estate, one to sale. Uh, these are all the issues, the subject matter areas that the city needs expertise in, and we haven't had someone with that expertise. And so I think people are responding well to that simple message of expertise. Secondly, I'm very committed to the community and been very involved in the community helping people for many, many years. And that office has great potential to improve the quality of life of people in the city. If you are interested in transportation justice, if you're interested in environmental justice, then good planning will result or not result in those things, having more of it or having less of it. So I think it's extremely important. The uh, office is also responsible for code enforcement, criminal misdemeanor prosecution. This is dealing with uh, community justice. And the office has a community justice section, but it hasn't been prioritized since forever. So that's where I'm at with the campaign. I How would you have policy. stood on the Sandag transportation plan? Well, I was uh, opposed to the plan, um, personally. Uh, $200 billion is a lot of money, and if we're serious about uh, transportation justice, then we really need to front uh, load, front end load um, transit, public transit. So, you know, I personally uh, believe that we should have spent more resources on, on you know, public transit in the first years of the plan. So, the Ethics Commission. Sure. So, uh, many of you are familiar with the Ethics Commission here in San Diego. It was 